day, good evening, and good morning to all of you, anywhere you are in the world. Welcome to my creative writing class. So today, I'm bringing uh, uh, to you an introduction to creative writing course one. So a good number of you might be asking the question, what is creative writing? It, there's no magic about that. Creative writing is very simple. Uh, if you can remember when you were small, the grandma used to tell you stories or your mom used to tell you bedtime stories. So these stories always start with once upon a time. There's beginning of the story, there is the middle of the story, and then the resolution or the conclusion of the story. Most of the time, it used to be the story of the turtle, the wisest animal, very, very wise. And uh, the turtle is used to deceiving the other animals, especially when there is food. So you are used to creative writing when you were small. So if you ask someone, what is creative writing? Number one, you have to create, use your imagination. Number two, you write down what your imagination, the pictures of your imagination um, is showing you. Just write it down. The easiest way again to break down this definition, what is creative writing? For you to be able to write, you have to put yourself in the uh, period when you were a child. You used to play with toys. You create. You had no fear. So creative writing is when you are writing and telling a story you love. If you are writing and telling a story that uh, is passionate to you, you want to tell a story. Now, moving away from the zone when you were a child to when we are adults, we're always telling stories when we go to the cafe, you tell stories about your girlfriend or your friend or your family or the problems you have, and then sipping your coffee, um, um, sorry, drinking your coffee. So we're all telling stories. And as social animals, we tell stories every day, every minute. We pick up our telephone, we call someone and say, hello, how are you? This is what's happening. Uh, have you got a job for me? Oh yeah, I received um, your call. And um, if all, or you can say I missed your call and then I'm trying to return it. All this aspect of communication is what we call creative. We are always creating every time, but that's not the problem. The problem now is when you want to write it down, a good number of people um, uh, told me that, listen, I can tell a story when it's uh, verbal, that is, uh, it's not written. I can tell a story when I'm with my friends, but to write it down, that's the problem. That's true. That's true. It's all about practice. You start with, with five sentences, from five, ten, uh, from five um, sentences, you can write 10. Or take it as a diary. When we were small, we used to keep diaries or even some managers, they keep diaries, you know, the dates on the appointments they have and so on. They are creating also, and they are writing it down. So there's no magic about creative writing. The definition is very simple, and the definition is very unique to each one of us. Nobody can come out and tell me creative writing is this, blah, blah, blah. Now, to be honest with you, um, such definitions are standard definitions 
we create in when you're talking about creative writing is millions of people creating different stories so to have a standard definition is not very easy unless you use once upon a time the moment you use that magic phrase you are telling the story so for me the definition of creative writing depends on you if you are creative you ask yourself am i creative if i am creative can i write what my imagination is telling me but i can tell you the moment you are angry you write things down you shout you see you 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 are able to do things when you are not comfortable i met a good number of uh, friends who are writers like myself one told me i wouldn't call his name here he said i i always write when i'm broke because there's something about creative writing when you are comfortable you cannot write or except you have that that um, uh, uh, um what do i say you uh, have that ambition or you are very passionate yes as i'm talking i'm comfortable and uh, what you can do if you feel you are comfortable in your life you do your best to forget your comfort just forget it if you don't forget it now you need a ghostwriter that means you detect somebody will write for you so today the introduction to creative writing course one the first question here uh, for the course to be very clear is what we will cover in this course you can see here cost logistics cost goal what's expected from you what does it feel to be a writer this is very very important okay structure of a story types of uh, story narratives types of narration this is just introduction in the second course the second uh, course yeah um we will go deeper into creative writing that's the, the intermediate, you know, this is just an elementary level of creative writing. And, uh, you know, every step, 1,000 steps starts with a step. So this is where we're starting.